All right, so I've had quite a few people ask me about what kind of doors I was going to be using on the teardrop. And um, I ordered these a few weeks back. Looked around, there were, there's a new uh, number of different suppliers that sell doors. Uh, most of them are other teardrop builders or um, places that sell teardrop parts, obviously. Um, and long story short, doors are expensive. So um, I mean, there's two groups here. One group wants to says, you know, build your own doors. They're easy. Um, they can be, I guess. Um, I haven't built mine yet, so I can't really say one way or the other. I know there's a lot of details to them. Um, having said that, on my other teardrop, I had a couple of little issues with my doors. Um, my, my bought doors are different than these. But I bought those doors. I paid somewhere in the neighborhood of it's about 650 bucks to have them shipped two doors to my house. Those were um, 32, or I'm sorry, those were 26 by 36 tall doors for two doors. About I think it was about 650. Uh, maybe it might have been a little bit more than that. Um, uh, some places on those weren't sealed up, one thing or another, and uh, I had some leaks with those. I've got those fixed now. Uh, I think it was just a matter of a couple little areas where I didn't have some seals worked out good when I installed them. So I've decided to start looking around for doors here, and I had another teardrop person who referred me to Challenger Doors. Um, I'll put links and stuff at the bottom of this post, but. Um, Challenger Doors is who I bought these from. Um, they are actually a RV parts um, doors, windows, um, or not windows, but they make doors. So they make doors that have windows in them, obviously, like you have here. Um, you can see these are higher windows, um, hair windows, however you want to say it. They've been around forever. Uh, I've got a, a Shasta project I'll show you real quick. And those actually have um, higher windows and hair windows whichever way you want to say it um, in some of those so those and that's a that's a 62 they've been around for you know almost 60 years now so I think they know how to make windows um, so these are this is a 26 by 32 door and just to kind of give you a quick overview here you'll see this is a hold on one second This is would be a uh, curbside door here with the latch, the latch on the left, the hinge on the right. Looking at the outside of the door here, it's got a window that lifts up. It's got a screen in it. Okay, you can see it's got uh, two locks there. Come around this side here. It's your typical RV lock setup. Um, On this one, it's a little different than my other one. On my other one, it actually sandwiched together, and you would run screws from a trim piece on the inside through, um, and it would pull into, there was a little groove in the door it would pull into. On this one, it's a little bit different. You just put these in from the outside, and then there are screw holes already pre-drilled in the frame. There's two at the top. There's uh, one, two, three down each side, and then two on the bottom. Um, so you do your cutout here. This is a, I'm gonna turn this thing over. This is a 26 by 32. Um, most of these are sold in either 32s or 36s. And I'm gonna put the tape measure on it here just to show you the actual width like I said this is a 26 you can see the width on the actual frame there is about 25 and a half so uh, probably cut it 26 to give yourself a little extra and on the width it's 31 and a half so cut it a hair over 31 you'll be fine the radiuses on these are um, by the manufacturer, he told me were uh, four and a half inch radiuses on the corners. Okay, 
he said he cut those um, four and three quarter. I was a little scared because I didn't have these um, when I cut them out. So I cut them four and a half and of course they were tight. So I had to go back and cut those out. I'm not gonna show you yet the video of the installation of these. I'll do that in a later video. Um, but basically you cut the hole, you put the door in it, you put screws on it. Then on the inside of the door, there's a trim ring that goes around the door here and so that will sort of take up for the thickness of your wall if your wall is a different thickness um, I'll show you here the thickness of the door itself is about one and a quarter so if you have um, it's one and a quarter but you'll see this trim ring here is actually thinner than that on this back lip so if you had like a three quarter inch wall this would work fine the door would stick out inside a little bit but the trim ring would actually go around it because the leg on the trim ring here um, it looks to be about five eighths of an inch or so um, I'm guessing I would just drill me some holes in here then and put the trim ring on and then put holes around this trim ring wherever it doesn't have any holes in it right now um, it is split um, I would assume they just take an extrusion and then bend it um, so I'll just tighten that up when I go to put it in nothing abnormal there um, the window here you can see this window we pull up would be towards me um, and it's got some little plastic holders here that hold the window up um, it is open or closed there's no in-betweens on my other um, set of windows the windows inside my doors there are uh, two positions you can open it about a third of the way and then all the way but these um, here I'm suppose you could probably fashion some sort of stop um, we alter the different um, Normally when we're just using our fan in, the tier, in our other teardrop, we will only open the window two or three inches just to let, let a little bit of air in. Because um, the, the fantastic vent that we use circulates a uh, tremendous amount of air. So, um, so just to go back again, overall, these were shipped to my house. Both doors, these are 26 by 32s for $480. Uh, that's the door shipping and everything. I think the doors were... 205 a piece um, so that's 410 um, and then there was I think 50 bucks in shipping and 20 bucks in packing so um, very comparable uh, I haven't gotten a price yet but I'll get a price on the the uh, 36 inch tall doors just to kind of give a fair comparison I wouldn't think it would be too much more uh, maybe 50 bucks at the most a piece I wouldn't uh, probably wouldn't think it'd be that much um, but so far, just overall looking at these before I've installed them, very happy with them. Quality looks to be like what you would see on any other um, door. Again, um, one other thing I didn't show here. On the top of these, there is actually a, uh, on this top edge here, there's also a rain drip cap that comes with them. Um, let me set the door down here. Try to do this with one hand. Um, this cap actually goes over and gives a little bit of a lip around the top edge here and serves as a, um, a drip edge, if you will on the top of the door um, and it just screws on the top uh, once everything's involved here. 